I'm gonna make baked ziti for AA and 80, I think that's your screen name, but anyway, I'm gonna write it down here. And from, for Brumala, 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 who? Jeff. For Jeff, yes. I can't say his screen name, but I'll put it down here. Brumala, Brumala, Bru, I think I almost got it. Anyway, this one's for you guys. Well, this is another recipe with the Sauce 101. As a matter of fact, I'm going to attach the clam recipe and this recipe to that recipe so that you have a reference to how to make the sauce for these two dishes. Tonight, we're going to make baked ziti with a little bit of a twist. I add a little bit of goat cheese. I know, I know a lot of people go, ooh, goat cheese. No, but it's good. It's good. It's very creamy. It, it gives it a nice texture along with the ricotta and the mozzarella. Absolutely beautiful. You're going to need about two pounds of baked ziti. Yeah, this is a pound, right, Frankie? Yeah. Yeah, that's a pound. So you're going to boil it. The water is already boiling. Make sure your water is already boil boiling and salted. And after, um, after you add the water in, you let it cook to the directions on the box, which is usually about... 10 minutes. Make sure that you stir it so it doesn't stick when you first put it in. And thank you, Frankie, because Frankie went like this to me to remind me to stir the pasta. How cute is that? You could talk, honey. You could say something. Just don't aggravate me. And another thing, people, here's something I gotta tell you. When you drain your pasta, don't rinse your pasta. Don't ever, ever rinse your pasta because it's just like should be illegal. What you're doing is you're taking the starches off of the pasta which help the sauce cling to the pasta. So when you rinse your pasta, you're actually messing up your pasta. Right Frankie? Right. 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 Anyway, don't do that. In this recipe, what I'm going to do is when the pasta is almost ready, I'm going to reserve a few scoops of water to add to the baked ziti only because makes it nice and moist and it, it's just nice to add to the big CD you'll see and when this is done boiling we're gonna start putting the pasta together okay the pasta is cooked I put a little um, sauce in the bottom of the bowl and we're gonna start adding sauce mm -hmm. this sauce is cold but it's gonna go in the oven so I'm not too worried about it and you just mix it. Okay, now we have here about, uh, I'd say about 16 ounces of mozzarella, four ounces of goat cheese. I cut up the mozzarella and I crumbled up the goat cheese. And over here we have ricotta cheese. Frankie, you bought this giant thing. This is two pounds of ricotta. That's a lot of ricotta, Frankie. No, they only had a pound, and I didn't think that was Yeah, enough. so I'm going to use half of this, because that's a lot. Right. And you keep adding some sauce. Now, and you mix, and you mix. That's why I got this Jugunda bowl here. I reserved a little bit of the pasta water, and that just makes it nice and moist. It makes it easier to blend. Isn't that beautiful? Look how beautiful that looks already. Good enough we're to eat. We're going to put another little spoonful and we're done. So we're just going to dump all this in there. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm starving, honey. I don't like to cook when I'm hungry because... Me either. <laughs> when do you ever cook? Oh, wait, wait. Frankie's idea of cooking. This is cool. Frankie will barbecue a steak, and he's the only person in history that will make that steak charred black on the outside and completely raw in the middle. That's the way I like it. Frankie, that's the way a vampire likes it. You're like Rosemary's baby with the raw meat. What's wrong with you? No, no that's not normal. Let's, let's keep to the recipe. Yeah. yeah, let's keep to the recipe. Okay, a little bit more. Now, because you people know that I'm lazy, I just got home from work, so I don't feel like shredding. But just put some mozzarella on top, and this is going to come out so nice. So nice. There you go. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, this is pre-baked. I will show it to you 
after it's baked. It comes out really, really good. Uh, the rest of the mozzarella, I'm going to save some soup for you from the salad. I couldn't talk, I'm sorry. The rest of the mozzarella, I'm going to save for um, some chicken parmesan that I'm going to make with a little bit of sauce that's left over. See, three meals out of one pot of sauce so far. So far, well, I made two, but I got a third one in the work. See, I just covered it this way. It'll... Whoa, that's hot. Like I said, we cover it for the first half hour, second half hour, take the cover off, let the top get golden bubbly. <laughs> I swear, Frankie. Oh, by the way, Frankie says I look fat in his shirt because the stripes go I, this I way. I didn't say that. You so did. Oh my God, you so did. I look fat in his shirt. I, I didn't look say fat that. in any shirt. I didn't say that. I don't that. care. <gasps> look at this. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh my God, it's heavy. Yeah, it's done. See, it's all done. It's nice and moist. Let me get a fork. You want to try it, Frankie? Mmm. Mmm. It's really good, but you know what it needs? A little crushed red pepper. Because you know me, I'm all about the crushed red pepper. But it's good. As a matter of fact, while, when you mix it all up, you can add more stuff to it, like fresh parsley and... Like I said, I just got home from work, so a little I just more wanted, grated cheese, a little yeah, black grated pepper. cheese, Parmesan cheese. I'm not a big fan of Parmesan cheese too much. I like it a little bit, but anyway, you can also cook some pancetta and add that to it. It's a lot of variations to bake ziti, but I like it nice and plain, and it's also good like a little side dish with something. Anyway, you could stop filming now, Frankie, because I'm. <laughs>